Hello and welcome. Today we are going to deal with package management on your Linux system. For this, we are going to use apt-get. I'm Christian from Vision 6D. We have here a network that can be similar to the one you must have at home with a PC, with a connection through the LAN or through a Wi-Fi to the internet. With apt-get, we are going to go to repositories meaning these are locations where packages might be stored. We are going to use the apt-get that will connect to the repository in order to download packages and then install them. This can also be done for a server. In the same way, you will get packages. The app tool works by maintaining a local cache of what packages are available on remote servers, including dependencies. You can then search the local cache more quickly than if you had to query a remote server. For this, we use apt-get update and package information come and renew what is contained in the cache. For all those manipulations, we'll first become root with SU. So now we are going to do the update. And we see that uh, different servers were solicited. My definitions of the servers were here somewhere in France. Now that the cache is up to date, we can investigate packages. And I will do this with apt cache and then the option search for example, a package, which is CPIO, and you see here it's giving us information about that package. We can also see information about a package by doing, and we take the same package, CPIO, and we can see here the package, importance, maintainer, architecture, and different information, including dependencies. Here you see that that package depends on libc6. We are now going to install the package CPIO. For this, we use apt get install and, oops, one too much, and the name of the package, which is CPIO. We have here a dependency issue, so we are going to install it by using the forcing option, which is the dash F. We'll check if CPIO can be accessed. And yes, we have the help, so that's fine, it is installed. There will be a time when you want to remove a package, so it's apt get and then the option remove and the package name. I'm not going to do that. What you need to know is when you do a remove, it's the package that is removed, but no one of the configuration file is attached. So if you want to remove everything, including the configuration files, you have to use the purge option on CPIO. And of course, I'm not going to do that right now. We will now upgrade all packages of the system. For this, we'll use the command apt-get upgrade. The system has now been upgraded. So that kind of upgrade should be performed on a regular basis. And what I have to say also, it's that if there is any issue with a package, the upgrade process will stop, meaning that if a dependency is not there, it will simply stop. So it's really a safe way and quite a conservative way to do an upgrade. So the comments we have with apt-get are update to update the cache. We saw that we could install and then a package name. If we want to upgrade what we have, it's apt-get upgrade. And if we want to remove a package, it's remove. Beside that, we have apt-cache and we can search for a term that is included in a package. So with all that, I hope you have a better understanding of apt-get and apt-cache. 
Uh, if you liked it, so you can sum up for the video, anyway, you can subscribe to my channel and I wish you a good time and see you soon. Bye.